Hello. The effect of a taper geometry and the launch angle on evanescent wave penetration depth in optical fibers. Biosensor Bioelectronics 2005. Introduction. Biological system such as uh, enzyme, antibodies, nucleic acid, tissues, and microorganisms combined with the uh, physical chemical transducers uh, in maybe in the optical and electrochemical thermometer or piezoelectric. So this combination of a biological system plus a transducer is a biosensor. And fiber-based biosensors, uh, this application, the probe as a sensing element is uh, used in clinical applications, pharmaceuticals, industry, and, uh, and uh, military. Uh, in this one, there is a fluorescence technique. Fluorescence intensity is proportional to the excitation energy and capable of detecting even very weak signal because of the guiding principle of the fiber. Fiber-based biosensor, excellent in light delivery, long interaction, interaction length because the core of the fall fiber is used as a uh, sensing element. Uh, low cost uh, because it is uh, uh, easily fabricated. Ability to excite the target molecules and ability to guide the light uh, emitted from the target molecules as well as the pump. So the pump plus target molecules. Uh, molecules are guided by the core. Biosensor capability, cell behavior can be uh, can be detected. Metabolism of the cells, cell death when the ex ex are exposed to the toxic agents. So biosensor are the two type. One is a distal end, another one is evanescent wave. So uh, they have a low signal to noise ratio, uh, but evanescent wave have a high signal to noise ratio. And the application of the evanescent waves so sensor is to excite the cell. Uh, information about the position of the cell, uh, quality of the cell life, and composition of the cell, and the movement of the cell. And also ability to measure the many physical and chemical proper uh, parameters of the cells, uh, drug abuse and toxic uh, maturity, and uh, chemical agent and biological agent can be measured by the the evanescent wave biosensors. So the fiber is uh, the core and the cladding, and the uh, core has higher effective index than the cladding and the air. Uh, the effective index profile of this one is this one. So effective index difference, and one or and two is called the difference of this one. If is uh, difference is nearly zero, nearly the uh, uh, if the effective index is the same. The power in the core decreases exponentially in and penetrate into the surrounding. So large penetration depth. So this is the core and this is cladding. So it goes like this one, exponentially like this one. Uh, if uh, there is a larger difference, the penetration depth is small and the uh, low. So few, uh, uh, the power goes in few order of wavelengths. Even as a wave uh, decay as a function of radius uh, in the fiber, the strength of the even as a wave field depend upon the energy per unit area per second and also depend on the core radius uh, reflective that's difference uh, of the core and cladding and pump wavelength. Higher the pump, wave, pump wavelength, higher the, the penetration depth. Technical uh, profile with the evanescent wave sensor. Uh, compare with the distal, uh, distal end sensor. Distal end sensor, small amount of power is available in sensing element and need fiber design to be optimized. Guide the pump, guide the pump light with the lower effective index difference. So, but on the other hand, the pump signal and the fluorescent signal, pump signal say it is a, a green, the fluorescent signal will be red, and the coupling and the guiding of the fluorescent signal is low. A need optimization, a high excitation, and a high small signal acquisition uh, in evanescent wave. So this is the problem as well as some benefits. Some previous results, more evanescent wave if the fiber is uh, tilted, so the angle of uh, tilt is uh, very important. Tapering of the fiber uh, ex increases the excitation event, more penetration depth if the more fluorescence and more 
and also the more scattering and more Raman will be achieved by the tapering angle and that at, and uh, length. Aim of the paper is to penetration depth as a function of the taper ratio and to find at the taper length and taper launching angle theory. When the light is incident on the cladding core interface, the light is either refracted into the cladding, Snell's law, or reflected into the same core as a TIR and a fraction of incident light uh, at minus a reflected light divided by the reflect, refracted light. Incident light, reflected light, and the, so it's like this one. Incident light, reflected light, incident light, reflected light, and how much? So this is normal, and this one is how much is it? reflected and refracted. So this one, this is a Fresnel coefficient. Fresnel coefficient depend upon the angle of incident of the pump light and a refract, refracted uh, index of the core and cladding. So the difference of this one. So angle of the incident is smaller than the critical angle, TIR, then uh, evanescent wave if favorable event. If angle is large, then a critical angle, no TIR, TIR, total internal reflection, and not favorable. If the incident wave length is perpendicular to the interface, then the depth of penetration depth extends to several wavelengths. So it is given by this one. dp penetration depth lambda, 2 pi, n1 core, and sine squared, theta, n minus, n2 square, whole square. Lambda pump wavelength core, colliding and incident angle normal to the interface. So incidence angle of normal to the incident. So how much is the angle? If the angle is small, propagation of light at the core cladding interface is a sinusoidal with some specific period. If the critical angle, the period become infinite and the wave is perpendicular is aligned to the interface. Uh, to the aligned perpendicular to the interface. So period is longer. So large angle, the so period is longer and light is parallel to the interface. So small angle, it is uh, it's like this one. So it is going is this way. If it is critical, it is perpendicular. If it is large, it is, so it goes in the period of uh, along the interface. So the fiber, so this system, the if you take off this uh, cladding, so this acts as a sensing element. So the lambda is called. Uh, this is uh, the same. This is an incident angle, and this is aqueous solution, because we have uh, taken off of this uh, uh, cladding. So the launch angle varies from alpha naught to alpha. So this is alpha z. This is uh, alpha naught. So this is alpha naught. Length varies from zero to L, so this is uh, L. This is L. And the radius is R0 and RL. And the angle is uh, alpha, so this one, alpha Z and alpha L. So this one, so initial radius into sine of uh, alpha naught is equal to final angle, final radius into this one. So R naught into sine of alpha naught, R2, Rz into this one, this equation one. And based on the three profile, uh, linear, parabolic, and exponential, so this Rz is a function 
rz is a function of uh, l naught so this is the three profiles so this is exponential exponential geometry equation one and equation two if you substitute this equation of equation one this one equation one and equation two this one equation one to equation two so this we have to use this one alpha z so we can find out the alpha z for three uh, profiles alpha z for linear alpha z for exponential alpha z for the uh, alpha z linear pro parabolic and exponential so incident angle at uh, the core cladding is given by uh, uh, this one and also the taper angle taper angle is uh, given by all all r naught minus l naught over l tangent square but incident angle is a fun is a 90 minus alpha by taper angle so this one this uh, alpha z this is alpha naught and this is a taper angle so this is alpha naught this is alpha uh, this is alpha z and this is alpha naught so incidence angle is uh, pi by 2 alpha z L beta tapering angle so alpha naught is linked to the acceptance angle by numerical aperture so acceptance angle is given by this one in numerical aperture so this is also one function so dp can be written as uh, uh, 1 over 2 pi na into 1 minus equal solution so if you take this one off so what this is long expression so dp depend upon numerical aperture core uh, effective index taper ratio taper angle initial launch angle and taper position Z. So the calculation. So dP is equal to, if this is a simple, this is the original equation, and this is the uh, second equation, and then is a profile. If you Z, if you put this value, alpha Z in here. So this is alpha Z. Alpha Z here. So R of alpha z, so this will substitute this one. So then we have alpha naught, so in and alpha z, so you can have alpha z value. So this is C. So A, C, and D, and uh, then we have uh, another angle, a taper angle. So this is uh, we have previously uh, given this one, and pi minus uh, pi by two minus uh, this one is a third one. So a c d e and f if you use this one uh, in this way so that uh, alpha sine of uh, alpha this one is sine of this one is equal to sine of uh, this whole terms whole term and uh, this one sine pi by 2 uh, so the identity sine identity sine of a plus b is equal to sine a cos b minus sine b cos a if you use this one and uh, this is sine pi by 2 sine pi by 2 is a uh, uh, 1 and cos pi by 2 is 0 so this is 0 
so this will come into into cos and whole square it will be cos square so the acceptance angle uh, is uh, is given like this one so dp is equal to this one so uh, incidence angle is uh, from this one we have found this this uh, yes Uh, yes this one and from this one we can find out the alpha z alpha z is this, this term and tp is uh, already we have found this one so alpha z and tp we will find this one in this solution and t dp is lambda over one minus cos square uh, this one will come here the cos square this one cos square into this and then tapering angle and uh, this one and then we can simplify this one and then we have this solution and finally we will have uh, this uh, this expression which is uh, dp is lambda over 2 pi numerical aperture into 1 minus equus square and c square whole squ uh, whole square inverse into cos and this side and this uh, plus tangent inverse and this Expression. So the results. Effect of the large angle, the tapering ratio and penetration depth. So this is taper length in centimeter, so zero to six centimeter. No tapering if this is like this one. And with the penetration depth goes up and down and maximum is at the length of three and a half centimeter. The highest penetration depth which is 1.4 micrometer the taper ratio and launch angle penetration depth so this is penetration depth and this is a launch angle it's minus 12 to 0 to plus 12 uh, degrees uh, so degrees theta so this is a penetration depth in nanometer so 350 to goes zeros and then this one so and penet taper ratios from zero to one so penetration depth it goes uh, up and down and uh, 40 percent taper ratio is a uh, maximum penetration depth number of modes in the fiber is given by v number 2 pi r or lambda and c minus and this is a core this is a colliding whole square this is this one and the numerical aperture which is uh, this uh, this one is 0.2 core and cladding so higher modes and lower modes a large fraction of higher modes occupy coupled to the uh, electromagnetic uh, evanescent wave region so if it is a higher modes increase excitation power which is required to generate the fluorescence if uh, this is a lower mode small fraction of the modes compared to the region so for this one so higher modes lower mode the fiber length in initially it is a higher higher mode zero and lower mode is at the end conclusion three taper geometries linear parabolic and exponential not much difference in getting maximum penetration depth v the mode Mismatch restriction reduces the fluorescence core radius to the minimum radius, which is in order to reduce the fluorescence uh, loss. Uh, 0 0.4, 40% taper ratio gives the largest penetration depth coupled to the, compared to the all others. So, this one. Next. If the fiber radius is taper is 100% to 68%, then the probe will lose lose uh, the probe will uh, lose heavily the fluorescence. In aqueous medium, the core radius should be smaller than the 68% of the initial core radius. 
to avoid V mismatch. Taper fiber. Convert excitation mode of the lower order to the higher order mode as it travels along the length of the fiber. Higher order modes have large fraction of coupling of evanescent waves into the region. So V mismatch, V taper over V non-taper is uh, this one. So it's a uh, is, uh, uh, position. So this is the position 100 uh, millimeters. So this is the uh, tapering ratio. So different tapering ratio on this one. 10% tapering ratio is given this one. And highest one is 0.8%. tapering ratio gives uh, more uh, mismatch. So this is this one and uh, questions how the taper geometry launch angle uh, affected the penetration depth of the evanescent wave in the fiber to what are the parameters to be optimized to achieve the largest penetration depth of the fiber what significance of the numerical aperture and V number in the performance of the evanescent wave biosensor fourth how different uh, taper geometries linear parabolic and exponential effect on the penetration depth of the fiber so that we have discussed the job geometry in this one. So this is a very good paper and uh, it is highly uh, important and has been cited many times.